Hi everyone, my name is Walter Emery and I'm the founder of Airshaper. In this video, we're going to take you for a test drive in the Aptera, which is a high efficient, super aerodynamic, battery electric, solar powered vehicle. That's a long way of saying this is the coolest car you've ever seen. And we also got to interview Chris Anthony, who is co-CEO of the company, and walk around the factory to see how they actually will build all of these vehicles. So let's go. Hey Chris, good to hey. finally meet you. Good to meet you, Walter. Awesome. And it's finally time to see the car in the flesh. This is awesome. It looks so much better, even in real life. It's already fantastic on the renders and on the photographs. Thank you. Um, so we're here today to visit Aptera. For those who don't know it, even though it looks as cool as a spaceship, it doesn't fly. It actually goes on the road, right? So what's the basic concept? Uh, the Aptera is really a brutal exercise in first principles engineering on how to make vehicles more efficient. Yes. Most people don't realize that sedans and SUVs traveling at highway speed use over 60% of their fuel just pushing air out of the way. So we were able to use Air Shaper's tools to maximize the aerodynamic efficiency of our body. So we use a 20th of the energy per mile as even the most efficient vehicles on the road. And you put all that together with a lightweight chassis and a really efficient powertrain, and you get something that gets over 350 miles per gallon equivalent. And in EV terms, it burns under 100 watt hours per mile. So it's just so much more efficient than anything else out there. It's four times more efficient per mile than the average EV. Yeah. So that means we can have a small battery pack and we can go a really long distance, a thousand miles range or 1600 kilometers is the longest range we have. And we can add cool things like solar charging. So this vehicle can actually charge back 40 miles or 60 kilometers a day free from the power of the sun. But it's all enabled by first making the most aerodynamic vehicle possible, making it lightweight, an efficient powertrain, and all that really started with Airshaper. Yeah, and, and it, it looks fantastic as well. Can you just walk us through the changes that you did based on aerodynamic simulations? We had to, you know, get into, we got to run simulations and everything. We got to run simulations on the wheel pants and the, the fairings over the suspension and all that. And we found Airshaper and I contacted you and you said, this is right up our alley. You know, we would love to help you guys be successful. And we ran the first aero simulations with Airshaper and came out with one number and said, we can do better than that. So we started refining the shape by hand, really just guessing what would probably work better. Um, and we did that for probably six months. And then we said, oh, you know, um, you have these generative design tools now. Maybe we should use some generative design to help us really refine the shape and let the computer and artificial intelligence tell us where to change the shape. So we, we put those simulations into your program and it, it made the, the roof structure a bit different. We actually were able to flatten out yes. the roof and make a flatter uh, a solar panel on the top, but still have the same aerodynamic efficiency. We drastically changed the angles on the wheel pants so we weren't compressing as much air uh, in and the front. lighting the flow, yeah, definitely. Yeah, this, uh, this was the highest drag area of the vehicle was right around here through the suspension. Yep. So what we did was we really flattened out the inside of this wheel pants and now we don't compress as much air through there. We sharpened the nose pretty considerably. Yep. The computer said, you know, basically sharpen it all the way out to here. Obviously we can't do that for practical reasons, yeah. but uh, you know, I think we sharpened it as much as we could. We changed the rear wheel fairing. Uh, we thought we should have a much, you know, sharper angle into the body. And the computer told us, you know, it should be more gradual yes. and flow into the rear tire. Exactly. And the tail, actually, because of Air Shaper's generative design tools, we actually stretched the tail four inches and squished the tail down over an inch, like an inch and a quarter. To reduce um, the cross section. To area. reduce the cross sectional area. area. And you put all that together, and this vehicle actually got bigger by about 1% in volume. So we have more passenger space, we have more battery space. Yeah. We actually lowered the overall drag coefficient by like 6%. So it was a really great exercise to see that even though we're growing frontal area, we can actually have a total drag product that's lower because we have all these really cool design tools. Yeah, it's been awesome. And today I have the privilege of driving this one, right? Yes, so it's gonna be an awesome ride. Inside. Can you just explain what it is like to sit inside, how the door opens, because it's not even a no normal door. Yeah, you know, but this is really more like a helicopter or an aircraft fuselage. Yes. So the way the door hinges is much different than traditional doors and the way the door opens is much different than traditional doors. You know, it's got All the right. butterfly wing doors. We've got yes. a, a generous interior. We've got a big center infotainment display system for navigation and music and all the controls of the vehicle. We have a really cool heads up display in front of the steering wheel. That's yep. actually your side view mirrors. Yes. So when you're driving, you can see through the steering wheel to the road, but also have situational awareness of everything going on behind you and beside you. Affordable as well, right? One last oh, note. Yeah. It's, it's not like 
a million dollars like a supercar, even though it looks like one, people can actually buy this for a reasonable amount, right? Yeah, you would think that because it looks like a Formula One car yeah. or an aircraft, it's got to be one hundred fifty, two hundred thousand dollars. But no, it's really because it uses so little energy per mile that we're able to use a really small battery pack. Yes. So I have a Tesla. It's got a big battery pack to go two hundred fifty miles. It'll probably cost twenty two, twenty three thousand dollars for that battery pack. We can go the same distance for with a five thousand dollar battery pack. Yeah. So you know, it's a very inexpensive battery pack. That's the most expensive part of an electric vehicle. So you put the rest of the vehicle around it in a drivetrain. You can actually have a vehicle that costs less than $26,000 yeah. and can, you know, meet all your daily driving needs and get free power from the sun. But I, I think we should take a test yeah, drive and see, uh, see how it yeah. works. You're in the Atera. This is cool. <laughs> this is fantastic. Feels like driving a spaceship, right? I know the noise and everything, like the yeah, sound yeah, the motors yeah. make, is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So go ahead and go right here, and then we can. I mean, what's really cool is it's a three wheeler, but yeah. it feels like a four wheeler in terms of how it handles. So. Yeah. Now that you mentioned it, it's the first time that I actually consider it. it's a three wheeler, but right. Nothing would actually give it. Away, right? Yeah. Give it a little. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> it's it's nice. fun. It's funny because it's so aerodynamic with the windows open. You don't really get much air in the in the cabin. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll close the windows. This Everything's nice. done on the touch screen. So it's this it's a very nice and firm ride, right? Yeah, it's it's definitely planted. You know, even yeah. even at sharp, quick turns, it feels yeah, really locked yeah, in. Boy. Nice, right? This is cool. I know. It's, it always impresses people, I think, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. ride quality and everything. And this this vehicle isn't even our final vehicle. It's yeah. a you know, pre-production prototype, yeah. but I think already it's pretty impressive. So yeah, all-wheel drive, you know, so you got... Oh, is it, this one is all-wheel Yeah, it's all-wheel drive. Yeah. All of them are? Uh, we're, yeah, we're launching with all-wheel drive, yeah. So we'll, we'll have front-wheel drive options and all-wheel drive. Because officially it's not a car, right? Yeah, it's an it's a auto cycle or motorcycle. So you get some unique benefits in the, in the States. You can... Uh, use the HOV lane as a single passenger without needing any additional stickers oh. or anything like that. So oh, really? that's okay. kind of a benefit in rush hour traffic around these yeah. parts. Like you can get really in a lot of traffic, but you can just skip it all with the, the HOV lane with Aptera. So it's kind of cool. It's, it's cheaper to register and insure as well because of the auto cycle classification. Oh, good. Um, but you know, yet like Chris was saying, this has airbags, front crumple zone. It's a very safe vehicle. So it's unlike other three wheelers yeah. that way. I guess we've done simulations on crash testing. It was from a lot of real life. Yeah, a lot of a lot of simulations on the you know every single component how it would act. Yeah. And then we're going to be doing a, you know real crash testing next year. So next is going to be really okay. exciting to to see. I mean, it'll be sad that we're hitting them in the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for the best. <laughs> it'll be this one or another vehicle. Other vehicles. Yeah. yeah. This one. This one will stay as our our yeah. pretty gamma. That's for the music. Like it's like, <laughs> um, it's thirty years back. We look back. This was the one that started. To, yeah, this, so I don't know if you've sat in an alpha, but I mean, the, no. those differences that we worked on with your team with the Air Shaper tool, I think made a big difference to the interior space. It feels way better. Yeah, it's really had, like, yeah. yeah like there's the headroom, the legroom, and it's improved so much. Yeah. You know, we used to have people who were on the taller end, like six foot five, and they would get yeah. in the alpha and they'd be like, oh man, it's not, I, I don't feel like it's good. But then you get people six foot eight fit in gamma just fine and they love it. Like it, it's like plenty of room for people if they're six eight. Yeah, that's yeah. quick. They got light in the back because of the big light yeah. there. It's... I know, it's a very airy. I like the, the lightness of the cabin too. Just yeah, the, it's very light. The materials and everything. You kind of start off thinking it's a prototype, let's be careful and all of this. <laughs> which I am, which I am. Yes, but yes. But you're... Once you get going, it's. You're absolutely right. I feel the same because I've driven it so much. It's like, yeah. I could just daily drive this right now yeah. as is. I don't need any other changes. I mean, AC would be nice, but that's the only thing I can think of that, like, I'm really missing from this vehicle for me to want to take it home right now, you know? I know a lot of our community is so excited. They're like, I want to take home an Alpha, like, right now. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> 
Yeah, I met some of the people of the fan club actually oh, in nice. Amsterdam. Really? Like, massively enthusiastic. That's awesome. Really. We really, really are see. lucked out that our fans are so excited. Yes. And I mean, I can't think of any company that has so much dedicated fans like it is insane. It is crazy. So they're really pushing us forward. Yeah. All right. So on a day like this, the sun like this, yeah, I would have an extra free range of around how much? Well, it's a pretty sunny day. You'd probably get anywhere from 30 to 40 miles with the full solar package. So that's what we're launching with. 40 miles. And full solar means that the, the hood is solar, which it isn't on this vehicle, and the whole hatch will be solar oh, yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, on this vehicle right now, you know, the sun is setting. It's getting a little lower. We're at around 80 watts right now from our solar panel. So that's, I think, like four or five miles a day right now, just from this, in this current condition. Yeah, this yeah. condition lasted the whole day. We'd get like four or five miles, but pretty cool that we're you know we started with concept now we're really in a vehicle that's powered by the sun this is nice yeah you get a good idea of the the handle like you want to say it feels like a normal car but it feels like a normal sports car right? yes yeah <laughs> I mean, it's definitely like a sport car seating and everything like that so good stuff cool well yes. get closing closing thoughts <laughs> yeah awesome product it's so different from anything I've ever driven all at the same time, yeah. right? It's solar, it's lightweight, it's super aerodynamic, it looks spacey. There's there's hardly any reference, right? Which makes it super cool. Yeah. I still it drives like a normal car. Totally. Must be your, your dream, you know, with all the aerodynamic yes. studies you've done yes. to have something like this on the road. I think it'd be really cool. Yeah, this is basically the only customer who has ever told us. Excuse me. <laughs> has told us like aerodynamics is top priority make right. it happen right yeah yeah there's no other like it has to have this styling or whatever yeah, like, you exactly. really want the exactly. shape to be the most aerodynamic and then turns out you can actually make a vehicle very utility you know has have a lot of utility and look amazing That's, while yeah, that's aerodynamic a, yeah. So. yeah i was really amazed I, the, I think the design is one of the key things for this car it yeah. didn't look this good. It would always remain like a gimmick, like an engineering wet dream, right? Yeah. And now it's like, I don't know, it looks... It, it, it looks broken. awesome. Yeah, yeah, people, everyone looks on the road and freaks out when they yeah, see it. So. Yeah, yeah. People stop you? A lot. Yeah? A lot. Yeah, people, what is that? People scream and stuff. It's, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So, I mean, it's... Imagine when you have your own, you know, everyone's going to be freaking out no matter where you live. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the first early... Customers that you have, they're in for a treat, right? Totally. Cool. Thanks this for driving. Was awesome. Yeah, thanks a lot, Chris. This has been a real pleasure. Of course. <laughs> so that was it for the test drive. In conclusion, this was really, really impressive. I know it's still a prototype, and you can hear some noises and so on, but it really feels solid, planted on the road, and really cool to drive, actually. Um, so I'm really curious what the final product will look and feel like. They also showed us around the factory, so it's a quite a sizable factory where they will build everything together. They showed us the displays of how their battery cells are structured and so on. We walked around the car, got to see the exterior. The interior, it's really nice actually, feels cozy, it feels well built. So I really look forward to seeing this car hit the road and to see what the final mileage will be and how customers will respond. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them below and stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.